In today's video, we're going to cover how to find the midpoint of a line, or the midpoint between two sets of coordinates. For example, the midpoint of a line segment like this, which stretches from 2, 3 to 6, 9. Now, the midpoint is exactly what it says it is. It's just the point that's right in the middle of two pairs of coordinates, or right in the middle of the line. So in this example, to find the x-coordinate of the midpoint, we just need to find what's in the middle of 2 and 6, which is 4. And to find the y-coordinate of the midpoint, we just need to find what's in the middle of 3 and 9, which is 6. So the midpoint of this line is 4, 6. Now, this one here was a fairly easy example, and we had the graph to help us. In exams, though, you might not have the graph, and the numbers involved might be a bit more complicated. So a better technique to find the midpoint is to use this formula instead. It works in basically the same way, by finding the average of the x values and the average of the y values, but before we can use it, we need to label our two points. So we pick one of them to be the first, and label the coordinates x1, y1, and the other point to be the second, and label the coordinate x2, y2. Although it doesn't matter which point is the first and which point is the second. Then to use our formula, all we have to do is plug in the numbers. So we start by adding together x1 and x2, which would be 2 plus 6, and then we divide it by 2 to get the average of those two x coordinates, which will be 4. And so we know that the x coordinate of our midpoint is 4. Then we do exactly the same thing with the two y values. So we do 3 plus 9 divided by 2, which is 6. So that's the y coordinate of our midpoint. And notice that we've got a final answer of 4, 6, just like we did when we used the graph method a minute ago. Now, if we take a closer look at this formula for a moment, you might notice that it's actually written like a pair of coordinates, which is why it has the brackets on the sides and the comma in the middle. So this left part is basically a mini formula to work out the x coordinate of the midpoint by finding the average of our x values, and this right part is a mini formula to work out the y coordinates by finding the average of our y values. So this is why we just plug everything straight in and when we simplify it, we end up with the coordinate that we need. Let's try one more question from scratch this time. So here, we're looking for the midpoint between minus 6, 2, and 7, minus 8. The first thing you want to do here is write out the formula, and label your coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2 then you can go straight ahead and plug the numbers into the formula. So minus 6 plus 7 over 2 to find our x-coordinate, then a comma, and then 2 plus minus 8 all over 2 to find our y-coordinate. Then you can simplify it to 1 over 2, comma minus 6 over 2, and that leaves us with a midpoint of 1 half, comma negative 3. One thing to mention here, though, is that because our x-coordinate wasn't a whole number this time, it's up to you whether you want to leave it as a fraction or change it to a decimal. So we could also have written our answer as 0 0.5, negative 3. That's everything for this video, though. So thanks for watching, and see you again soon.